Hi, my name is Jerry Ellsworth, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Short Circuits. The days of designing 5-volt systems are gone. Now we have to deal with multi-rail, multi-voltage systems. And today I'd like to talk about level shifting. This is not a safe example of hooking a 5-volt device up to a 3.3-volt device. And most 3.3-volt devices these days do not have 5-volt um, tolerant inputs. And through the safety protection diodes and circuitry on the front end of the, the pins, you can drive the, the rails, the 3.3-volt rail in your system above 3.3 volts. And you can also damage the input buffer. When you drive from a 3.3 volt device to a 5 volt device, this is typically okay because the threshold voltages on a 3.3 volt, a uh, 5 volt device typically range between 0.8 volts for a low and 2 volts for a high. If you need to communicate between parts unidirectionally, you can use a simple buffer circuit between the two parts to isolate the 5 volts from the 3.3 volts. You can use an inverter or a simple 3.3 volt 74 series part for this. If you need to communicate bidirectionally, you'll need to have a bus transceiver that can change direction with a direction pin and that is supplied by 3.3 volts so that you will you'll isolate the 5 volt um, I.O. from the 3.3 volt I.O. If you need to control the direction of the tri uh, transceiver, you'll need to pick a part such as the 74L VT245 that has 5 volt tolerant inputs so that the direction signal can be driven from the 5 volt side. This is a nice circuit that uses just a single NMOS transistor for a dry, di bidirectional bus. It uses a tri-state buffer on either side or an open drain. Two pull-up resistors, one to the 5 volt side, one to the 3 volt side. You tie the gate of the NMOS transistor to the 3.3 volt side. You hook the source to the 3.3 volt side. When you're driving from the 3.3 volt side, you pull low on this side, which starts to lower the voltage on the source, which changes the threshold voltage of this transistor that allows it to conduct, which then also pulls down the 5 volt side down towards 0 volts, signaling a low to the 5 volt side of the system. When you're signaling from the 5 volt system, you pull down on, on this side, and through the diode it starts pulling the source down towards 0, lowering the threshold voltage, which makes the transistor conduct again, pulling it the rest of the way down towards zero volts, pulling the three volts down and signaling to that side. Modern FPGAs have PCI clamping diodes, and you can use this to your advantage sometimes to, um, to protect the inputs from five volts. By putting a, a resistor in series, you can have voltage drop across the resistor and through the clamping diode you'll probably want to use between 150 ohm to 250 ohm. Companies such as Fairchild also have logic level shifting ICs that are very convenient to use and also allow the use of totem pole drivers on either side of the chip.